we've seen like the concept of peer to peer trading seen as like a kind of financial trading of energy not really linked to the actual energy grid but that the ideas around that have really matured and I'd say the more considered view now is that local energy markets um, using blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer trading of energy are now intimately linked to what's going on in the grid and what I mean by that is the local energy market is designed to reduce grid export during the day and, re and reduce grid import at night i.e. assist in balancing supply and demand on the grid and that is a way that more renewables can be incorporated in the grid without having to um, charge to export or curtail solar, which is a fancy word for throwing energy away. And uh, I think that the idea of centralised energy, uh, centralised ma energy markets and blunt price signals like feed-in tariffs were very good for putting one, two, three percent energy into a, a grid. But what you see around the world that once you get above du double digit percentages of renewable energy in a system through centralised price signals, like blunt price signals, is that you start to get uh, grid congestion and uh, a lot more spend on networks and very high electricity costs overall. So there's a strong relationship now between high penetration of variable renewable energy and high electricity costs. And it's not as we want to get to net zero and 100% renewables, it's going to become prohibitively expensive, that model. And so I think that distributed energy paradigm and decentralised energy paradigm is going to become increasingly important as we get more renewables in our system and 